All right, what is going on guys? Officer O'Leary here, back again at Six Flags Great Adventure for another exciting night. <laughs> I am by myself, actually. Uh, even though I actually saw Jason in the parking lot, and a lot of you guys already know, me and Jason haven't been getting along so well lately. But uh, I did go over, I said hi to him, and he was like, have a good day, and then, you know, I, I really hope that we were able to, you know, get things back together again, and hopefully make some more videos in the future. Nothing serious, of course. I'm sure that things will go back to normal soon. <laughs> but yeah, for now, I'm just here by myself right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out the park. However, I do have to admit, Jason was probably the last person I was expecting to see today. Considering, like, we haven't really been talking at all the last couple days, and I didn't even, I didn't know he was here, and he didn't know I was here. And we just kind of, like, bumped into each other. And that happens sometimes. Sometimes it might be a sign to forget about the past and just move on and be friends again. I don't know, post what you guys think down in the comments. I can see something up here in the in the distance. There's some type of crane. Maybe they're putting on the El Diablo cars again. I don't know, let's get a closer look. Not seeing too much progress over here, but that crane is a pretty good sign that this might reopen sometime soon. I don't really have any visuals, like I can't see the train itself, but I'm, I'm sure it's there. And uh, Well, maybe not right there, but I'm, I'm sure they're gonna get the train back on the train track soon is what we're trying to say. It's pretty cold out here, guys. It might be about 35 or 40 degrees. I'm only wearing a sweatshirt and a jacket and long pants, so I'm not really bundled up that well. Also, I'm hearing air horns and stuff in the background. I don't know what ride that could be. Toro's out here. Let's check out what the line's like. Sounds like it's running pretty good. Yeah. Let's check on the weight. Hey Casey, how long's the wait? Uh, less than 20 minutes. It looks like a walk on to me. <laughs> Awesome, thanks. All right, we'll probably come back to this. Looks like a walk on, I don't know. She said it was 20 minutes. Whew. All right, Macho Nacho time. Let's go. I'm sitting in my favorite seat in the house. Your burrito size may vary. So the other day I got a pretty gargantuan burrito. It barely fit in my hand. Now this one looks a little bit more manageable. More like a actual burrito. The other one was like a, I don't even know. It looked like it had some type of like disorder. It was huge and like lumpy. It was delicious though. I had to send it back. It had jalapenos in it. I really can't eat hot foods. It like screws my stomach up beyond belief. And I took a huge bite out of it and I might have swallowed a little bit. So I don't know. I'm probably gonna get sick tonight. But uh, yeah, they're remaking it now. Much better. No oh, wait a second. There's a jalapeno right there. But it's definitely a little bit unseasonably cold out right now, guys. It's about 41 degrees, but it's sunny out, so it should be a little bit warmer out that uh, out right now. Like, I feel like 41 degrees is like a cloudy April day, not like a sunny April day. It should be more like 60. As the sun slowly starts to set over Jackson, New Jersey, the temperatures also start to drop as well. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna head over. I'm actually gonna get an ice cream cone. Contrary to the temperature, I'm gonna go to uh, Sugar Shack and I'm gonna grab myself a nice flavor burst ice cream. Or what is it called? A flavor burst? Flavor blast? I don't know. Fla flavor whatever ice cream cone. I'm gonna get one of those. I'm gonna try a couple different flavors. And then we're gonna take it to Yum Yum to try and warm up a little bit. But uh, I think we're gonna stop into Attitudes real quick and we're gonna take a look around in here because I haven't been in this shop in a long time. I don't know if they have a heat on necessarily, but it's definitely a little bit warmer than it is outside. There's some Walking Dead merchandise in here, which is kind of cool. Pokemon stuff. This seems just to be like a general merchandise type of store. Like, they don't just have Six Flags stuff in here. Got some Pokemon. Whew. Came in here expecting it to be a little bit warmer. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I picked this one to check out. <laughs> it'll be cool. It'll still be cool. Wow. Is it like built like an igloo on the outside of this? Is actually ice blocks, like insulating? 
Instead of uh, in insulation, they use ice blocks. <laughs> anyway, we're not gonna take. Oh yeah, I do want to take a look over here real quick. We have a whole rack full of onesies. Look at this, guys. What on earth? Any type of any type of onesie you could possibly want, they have it. Sorry for the loud copyrighted music. I'm gonna have to get out of this area. <laughs> I really went into attitudes to try and warm up a little bit. I also wanted to check out the merchandise, but I really wanted to warm my fingers up. And as soon as I walked in there, I realized, I'm like, well, well this is kind of weird. It's, it's the same temperature as it is outside. <laughs> it's a little bit warmer in there, not, not much warmer. I made the joke that it was probably insulated with, like, ice blocks or something instead of actual insulation. Anyway, it wasn't very funny. But yeah, we're uh, heading over toward Sugar Shack right now. The sun's starting to set. I'm starting to freeze my fingertips off as well as other things. like, <laughs> Uh, look at the little Taz. <laughs> just met up with Bill. Hey, hey. Man. <laughs> We're gonna head over here to Sugar Shack real quick. I'm gonna grab a Belgian waffle. I'm gonna try the caramel apple waffle this time. That looks amazing. Caramel uh, apple, or it might be like candy apple. I don't know. That does sound good. You're gonna get to watch me eat it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bill's That'll vegan. Be <laughs> Bill's vegan, so you can't really have too much here. You just had the vegetarian burger. What do you think of that? Is it good? Uh, it's all right. I eat plants. Yeah, a lot of plants. <laughs> Mostly everything plants. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. hey, it's all good. And sometimes water. I love water. Yeah, water it's, is it's like generally good. Water's my second favorite like drink to drink. <laughs> it's my first, but you know. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's like sounds like they're playing like some crazy Santana right now. Oh, it does. I saw Santana over the summer actually. I saw them when I was like seven, I think. He's pretty good, man. Oh yeah. Carlos Santana. Hey. All right, we got the caramel apple sundae here. Or, well, it's actually a signature waffle. Oh, it looks really good. It's got a cherry on top. The cherry and the uh, the top piece sort of just like, they, they fell off the side, so it doesn't look as good as it did when I first got it, but still really good. We got some caramel dripping off the ice cream right there. I want you guys to know how it is. So yesterday, it was blasting Don't Stop Believing in here, and now it's blasting Walter Migo. It's like really, really loud in here at all, all times. I don't know why the volume is like crazy in there. It's literally in party mode. <laughs> actually, fun fact about party mode. There's actually a uh, cycle on the skyscraper called party mode where it goes up for like 10 minutes and it spins for 10 minutes straight. Oh God. Yeah, literally, like it's crazy. That's the, uh, that's the swing, isn't it? Yep. I used to, uh, I used to be uh, an attendant on that. So Bill's favorite ride is Green Lantern and I know it's like not the most popular opinion but he's got a pretty good point so he's six he's six foot and I'm six two so there's a trick to it if you're riding Green Lantern and you're really tall like us you got to bend your knees a little bit when you're when you're strapping yourself in the restraints if you bend your knees a little bit it gives you enough room to be able to get through the layout comfortably because if you stand straight up and it locks you get stuck in that locked straight up position and it's and, ball grabbing you and the it, whole time. Oh yeah. <laughs> like it's really not comfortable at all. Holy crap, wait. There's literally an empty station up there. There's nobody. There's no one. No one, not a single soul. <laughs> it's just gonna be us, dude. Cody and Cross. Bro, I think we were literally the only people on that. I think, I no, think wait, we were. They, yeah, we were. Those people were waiting, right? They just got on. Yeah, no. Wow. I don't know, we just got we just got off an empty train that we were the only ones on. All right, we have one more ride to do. We're gonna head over to Bizarro now. All right, we're over here at Bizarro, formerly known as Medusa. We're gonna get a good ride in on it. I know the flame effect still aren't working, but you know, it is working. Slingshot, if you guys wanna check out Slingshot back on the boardwalk, that crazy like uh, pod thing that like shoots you up into the sky and flips you around, that's open now. It's an charge attraction, but you can go check it out now. It's finally open. <sighs> Today's vlog's gonna be a little bit shorter than usual, guys, because uh, I only got here a couple hours ago. I had a lot of stuff to do today. But, yeah, we're here. Hopefully it's not too short. I want to make this vlog at least like 20 minutes long. There you go. I don't know. It's not going to be anywhere near as long as the vlogs have been lately, but still a vlog, right, guys, I guess? Oh, yes. It's too cob back there. Rest in peace, Medusa. Your green hair will be missed. <laughs> yeah. Your creepy green snake hair will be missed. 
You can still see parts of the old Medusa track, like the green starts to like show through instead of the spots yeah. where the paint's chipping off. I think yeah. they only changed. Hey, how are you? Look at this. Sometimes I even, but right now I can't. Sometimes what? Sometimes I even, but right now I can't. Oh, I can't even, dude. <laughs> even from home. You just got off the Zara. Oh, that was pretty awesome. Nice, nice night ride. We rode right in the front. If you're in the front on that, if there's like nobody in the train behind you, you get some really good hang time on that loop. Like your legs like fall, fall toward the ground. It's freaking fun. And some good pace on your face. Oh yeah, it's pretty cold. Like, I don't know, you're we joking on the way up, or like, yo, what if they have like, what if they have all the misters on and the flamethrower off? Like, how bad would that be on a night like tonight? Like, it's so cold. Like, you could just imagine like the ice like just freezing to your face. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're gonna head out though after this. I'm not even sure what time it is, but I'm freezing cold. I don't really feel like buying a locker for Altoro. Although, you did have a good idea, like ride Altoro until the park closes, but I don't know, I don't feel like buying a locker. All right, there's about 20 minutes left in the day, so we're gonna get our last rides in on Toro for the night. Should be pretty awesome, right? Oh, yeah. Excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite coasters in the whole park. It's actually going up the lift right now. It's so see it. Yeah, we're gonna get in line. We're gonna try and marathon it, I guess, a few times. Should be pretty good. <laughs> we just got off El Toro. We were gonna ride it twice in a row, but unfortunately there wasn't enough people on our train to send it. Like, I don't know, lately Six Flags has been getting a little stingy when it's cold or late at night, and very, there's not enough people to ride. It's in general. It's, it's not really like a stinginess thing. It's just the fact that like when it's really cold outside, the, the roller coasters have a tendency not to make it through the layout in the valley, so to make uh, that that happen less often, they don't send the train un unless there's enough people on it. So with King Kingdom case, they need like the first four or three or four cars filled. Same thing on Altar, you need the first three or four cars filled to send it at all, which is, uh, you know, it's okay. They didn't ask I me understand. if I would say they should have sent it, I would have liked the valley and take that <laughs> walk back, the walk of shame. Yeah, as you guys can see though, there's like nobody left in the park. We're pretty much it. Like, it's so cold out here. I don't imagine that like anybody would even really want to ride it, anything right now. Like King Nika is probably dead. Oh uh, yeah, but we walked out of the station. We're like, well, I guess you guys get to go home early since there's not enough people to run it. And uh, that was pretty much it. And then we got to talk to the security guards out front. Shout out to Casey, you're awesome. Well, I got like another three grand to collect on unemployment, so. That's pretty legit. Might as well. All right, so we're heading out pretty soon. We're just gonna return Bill's flash pass now at the headquarters. After we sneak onto the Joker. After we sneak onto the Joker. And the other night, me and my friend were walking over here, and I, I can never unsee this now. The Joker looks like it has a giant lima bean in the middle of it. I can't unsee it now. Like, it just looks like a, a giant Holy lima shit. bean. <laughs> just, you I know. ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lima. <laughs> And like now I just can't unsee it. Now every time I look at it, I just see like a giant lima bean. Like how weird is that? I'm kind of hungry now. <laughs> I don't even like beans. I, well, I do like beans. I like Mexican food. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead of here, head in here to the Flash Pass headquarters, and uh, we'll head out for the day. This is still under construction over here. I'm still not sure what the hell they're trying to build. These two areas right here, they just have construction walls, but nobody's really sure what's going here. Yeah, it, this has been for years just this little like it was just like a seating like, area yeah, they had just like tables out here and the bushes sort of like went around yep yep you're right and in the middle of the patio right there there was a bar yep um and now the, the sort bar, of like the, the bar, bar at the other side yeah sort of like the bar that they're building over near where the kids area is by the log thing but i don't know like this looks really weird to me i'm not sure what they're gonna do huh fancier oh. seats Maybe. Yeah, they're gonna put like leather seats in there instead. Yes. They're just putting work walls up around it. <laughs> synthetic leather, of course. <laughs> of course, yeah, synthetic leather. <laughs> no, no real hide worried. here. No real hide. Oh no. We need the fake stuff because it doesn't use actual animals. Oh well, no, because it's cheaper than Six Flags. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Six Flags only affords the cheapest of cheap. Disney. <laughs> yeah, what do you think this is? Disney? <laughs> Alright. Everyone is pretty much out of the park. All right, guys, it's that time of the night. We're heading out. I'm sorry again if the video is a little bit short. I know it's not like most of my videos have been posted lately have been like an hour long. <laughs> but yeah, I had a la I had a really fun like last few hours here. I only got to spend th three and a half hours here because I had a lot of stuff to do today anyway. But yeah, it's a good day here with Bill. Oh, very fun. 
very very fun indeed and uh, yeah that'll be pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed peace out Remember to like favorite and subscribe yeah like favorite and subscribe <laughs>